The French press is one of the most widely used coffee brewing devices around the world. Also known as the cafetiere, the French press works by steeping coffee grounds and hot water in the bottom of the press, immersion brewing. After a few minutes of steeping, a mesh filter is pressed to the bottom of the press using a plunger. This mesh filter separates the coffee grounds from the brewed coffee. As opposed to a paper filter, this mesh filter, made of metal, allows the coffee's natural oils to pass through, preserving more of the natural flavour notes as well as providing a thicker texture. In general, immersion brewers like the French press are great for providing a uniform extraction. However, immersion brewers are more vulnerable to over extraction if grind size is not correct or the brew time is too long. So be sure to watch both of these variables. An advantage of the French press has to offer versus a standard electric drip brewer is that it allows users to make a cup of coffee according to their own individual taste. Users can vary the amount of time that coffee grounds are steeped, the amount and the size of the grounds used, and the temperature of the water to find an ideal extraction. The French press is also portable and only requires a source of hot water to brew. It is also relatively inexpensive, and you can generally buy one for under $30. So with that, let's jump into the tutorial. We're going to show you exactly how to make coffee using a French press. Step one, boil some water. Now let's use water that's actually slightly cooler than boiling. So we're talking around 95 degrees Celsius or 205 degrees Fahrenheit. Boil the water and remove it from the heat for around 30 seconds. Now we're going to be using the large French press here. I've got a one cup model here, but we'll be using the uh, larger one, which could do about four. Step two, fill your French press about one quarter full with hot water and press the plunger all the way down. Swell the hot water around the French press for around 10 seconds. And then we're going to pull the plunger back up and we'll remove the lid. Now we'll just discard of the water. Uh, we won't be needing that. Step three, grind your own coffee beans. Always use a coarse grind when brewing with a French press. Add coffee to the empty French press. I'm going to use one that I've already ground earlier. And you're going to want to use two tablespoons of ground coffee for every one cup of water. My scoop here is about perfect for one cup at a time. Now gently shake it back and forth just to settle the grounds. Step five, pour about half of your hot water evenly over the grounds. This step is called the bloom. Hot water forces the ground coffee to release trapped gases, leading to the expansion of the coffee and wonderful aromas for you to enjoy. During the bloom, a thick crust of coffee grounds will also form. Start a timer. Once your timer hits about 30 seconds, Stir the coffee gently for five seconds just to break up the crust and the mix ground evenly with the water. And pour the remaining half of your hot water over the coffee. Place the lid on your French press with the plunger pulled all the way up. Now we're gonna let the coffee steep until the timer reads four minutes. So step eight, steep for four minutes. Okay, four minutes are up. Step nine, press down on the plunger evenly and slowly. Now, this is to filter out the grounds from the coffee. Now, this is really important. Don't let the coffee sit for too long in your French press, otherwise it will over extract. And there we go. We can now pour our coffee. and enjoy. Ah. 
It's always one of my go-to methods for making coffee. It's so simple, it's so easy, always tastes great. So, why do I like the French press? Well, it's really easy to brew coffee and it's so hard to get this wrong. So you're pretty much guaranteed a good brew every time if you follow these steps. You can also make enough coffee for a small group of people at once, which is really handy. Um, I just love making a big jug of coffee when I have friends over for breakfast, so everyone can just serve themselves. Um, you can get little ones as well, so if you're just making a quick one for yourself, this is ideal. Now, if you liked the video, be sure to subscribe for more content, and be sure to check out the blog over at jrcoffee.com. Cheers.